So, to continue on with part two of After Denement, so it's a topic, After Denement. Um, the Tempest card and the Eight of Wands, it's a lot of conversation going on. And this uh, person's trying to remove themselves from this conversation. Because at first, you know, they were highly involved in it, you know, um, keeping themselves wrapped up in all of the, the gossip, the drama, the, you know, <laughs> all that nonsense, but it caused the trauma. So they said, no, we got to get up out of here because this is nothing but a continuous cycle of uproar. It's a continuous cycle of uproar with the cherry card, the king of cups, and the four of swords. You are just continuously keeping somebody in a cycle of uproar, and it's going absolutely nowhere. And these people are not young. They're seasoned. So it's no reason to continue this situation like little juvenile children. It's like, <laughs> when does it kick in to not? Ten of cups, six of cups, two of swords. At what point does it kick in? Where you say, it's time to let this go. It's time to move on. It's time for me to go live my life. It's time for me to stop playing games. It's time for me to 86 myself out this situation. Because it's definitely a dead end. Didn't accomplish anything. Didn't receive anything other than drama and trauma. Right. And you have to go back to the basics. Because what did I say? Uh, things get lost in the sauce when you go chasing behind a person who is not bothering you. And which is what's up. Because like I said, a lot of you guys are in an uproar because you're going <laughs> to a place where, you know, you set in stone that you wanted to be there. Right, to the cups. You set in stone that you wanted to be there. Exactly. Unbeknownst to you or be known to you with this moon card. You try to act like you don't know what you did, but you definitely know what you did. You made a pact with quote unquote a devil, a devil, right? To <laughs> to get whatever it was you thought you wanted to get in life. You definitely made a pact with a devil. So now you have to live with the fact that you made a pact with that devil and you on to a whole new level. See, you didn't understand that messing around with these devils, you get taken down hard real hard real fast once they bring you up they bring you up slow <sighs> so you can enjoy your ride up and then they bring you know how you go zip cording they bring you up real slow and they zoom then you zoom down right it's over it's over the ride up it takes a lot a lot longer than your little yeah you're, you're zooming down you zip right down not little because that's major Ooh, uh, zip riding zip cording is I screamed the whole time, I ain't gonna tell you. I screamed the whole time I was zip cording. So, nah, I'm scared of heights, right? So, it was a, it was rough. It, it was an experience, right? So, when I was 19, it was an experience, right? Me and zip cording, me and heights, nah, 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 nah. So, that's how you should have lived that life. <laughs> but you went up there. It took a long time to get there. And you got up there. And then what happened? You zip corded down. You <laughs> zip. Right, you was on a, <laughs> on a downward spiral very quickly right you let it go real quickly uh, like I said you try to play like you don't know but you you were you were an active participant in your demise you're definitely an active participant in your demise um, to be quite honest with yourself a lot of you removed yourself from the from from a person this contact that you wanted to be around anyway you removed yourself from your positive contacts years ago you subtracted yourself from any positivity years ago because positivity would have pointed out these uh these um wolf and owl flaws these hyena is where you at ended up right people would have discovered your 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 altar making your virgin sacrificing your temple love right people would have discovered that you were that type of person so many people like this they work like they do work in like entertainment or you know like mediocre work like a dime a dozen jobs anybody can get them type jobs and I'm not down in that type of work you know but it's just these are jobs where anybody can get them, really. And that's the type of work that people 
who are not on the up and up, who are in this at the gentleman collective, that's what they become. The type of people who work mediocre, mediocre jobs but talk a big game. You talk about being the emperor and the empress, but all you do is work a mediocre job. You don't work anywhere where there's advancement for yourself. Right. It's advancement at every job. You can always become a supervisor unless you're a supervisor already, then you know, I'm a, a, a district manager, but if it's, you know, great district managers, you won't get there. And I, I doubt you ever make it to the CEO of the company, right? That's a big jump. So, you work at jobs where there's really no advancement for yourself because you don't want any advancement. And most of those jobs are usually held forever <laughs> by somebody. They don't really have a high turnover in those jobs when there's like district managers so the best you would make it is like some type of store manager and there's nothing wrong with that that's what I'm saying it's just you talk king and queen you talk jaguar you talk uh, presidential roly <laughs> but you work at um, a ice cream parlor okay that's cute that's cool that's cute and that's cool so it's time to wake up smell the coffee Smell some smelling salts. Smell your own behind. I don't care what you do. <laughs> it's time to wake up. Some of y'all butts is raunchy. <laughs> Everything about you is raunchy. So it's time to wake up. Seriously, stop feeling yourself. Because it was bad for your health. Feeling yourself was bad for your health. It really was. You got absolutely nowhere. You flew the coop. Your brain flew the coop, but your body stayed right there in that nest. Right? Your, bland, your brain flew the coop. <laughs> your brain flew the coop, but your body stayed right in that nest. So you got absolutely nowhere. You are totally in your own mind. You no know, sunshine for you with that bad boy Ben said. That's something Ben said. And you allow somebody to help you do so. And you refuse to see past that. You have a strong belief in something. In your hyena work. In your whatever religion you believe in. You, you, in whether it be spell work or whatever. Another organized religion. Or a group. You truly believe that that's what it is and that's the end all be all. So, hmm, what's going to be the end all be all for you? Because this thing that you're doing is just belittling others. That's all it does. It belittles others. And it's designed to belittle others. Those other types of uh, covenants, covens. told you there's a lot of uh, covens out here where they just want you to get, drink the Kool-Aid. Right? That's all they want you to do is drink the Kool-Aid. That is the, 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 the result. The end goal for these people is to get you to drink the Kool-Aid. And once you drink the Kool-Aid, they will start filling you with all types of false beliefs. All kinds of false beliefs create beautiful bonds with you and then break them. Yep, bring you up just to knock you back down. Right. This isn't the one where you fall, where you zip cord down. Now, these are the people who have brought you up real fast, and they're taking you down super slow. They brought you up real fast, and they're taking you down super slow now. So it's a slow decline. You jumped up there real quick, but now they bring you down slow. But when you do hit, and they're bringing it down slow, you know why? Because they're filling your life with serpents. So when you finally hit that bottom, you'll have so many snakes around you, they're going to squeeze you to death once you hit that bottom. Wow. Oh, I just seen it. It's so slimy. You know how a, a snake comes and it wraps around you, but it's hanging? Like, imagine yourself standing up, like straight, and the snake is just slithering itself around you. And then it's going to tighten up. You know those little, yeah, them finger things? I forgot what they're called. You stick your finger in them and pull. Right. That is currently 
oh, but I seen who, gosh, and what it feels like. All right, that was too, too vivid. I do not like when I get those vivids. I can feel and see them. It's not anything you send me. It's just when I'm explaining, that's what comes through. Yeah, so please, please, please believe that you will be choked to death by these serpents if you're being brought, if you were brought up fast and being brought down slow. If you were brought up slow, you about to zip cord all the way down. And that's what you people have been doing. And it's no fun whatsoever. It's a lot of legal trouble involved. You set them to the plate to play a game, a dirty game. You gambled, you cracked out, you lost, right? Trying to play 21, you got 22. <laughs> and 23. Shouldn't have pulled another one. Should have let it be. But you didn't. You wanted to be a showboat. King of swords and a moon. You wanted to show everybody that you could play this game. Star and page of, of swords. But it just led to a bunch of showboating and legal activity and legal troubles, right? Seven of Wands, you're caught up in there and you're fighting against something. Nine of Pentacles, you're fighting something real heavy because of your showboating. That's what happens when you're conceited. That's what happens when you're conceited. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Three of Swords, you don't listen to nothing. You block any and everybody out, right? Mm -mm. This is where you hurt your own heart. You, don't, you killed your own self with this one. Army card, ten of swords, yeah. You hurt your own self with that. You went within yourself and tore up your own self. Because you are conceited. You like the showboat. I told y'all about that ego, that egg. This after dinner, man. Oh, Lord, help him. <laughs> oh, this after dinner, man. Oh, it gets real busy on you, right? That's all because of your ego. You was told about that. You was told about that ego. That the essence of your ego, ooh, that id, that id, for you, your ego, your essence, it got you in a lot of trouble. That ego stuff leads to a lot of trouble. Taking all those matters into your own hands. Calling on contacts that should have never been called called upon because you haven't been dealing with these people for years. Because the last time you dealt with them, you got into something with them, and then you got into it with them. All right. You attached something with this person, and then you turned right around and got into it with this person. So you ended up attacking each other after it was all done and over with. So understand that the same pattern is taking place right now. The exact same pattern is taking place. Nothing has changed. That's exactly what you're doing. You're repeating the same pattern with this person that you did before. So every time you call upon this person to help you out, all y'all do is get into it. You help each other out, and then you get into it at the end of it. So nothing will change this time. This is one of those situations where you just definitely need to walk away from each other. Somebody got to be smart. Somebody got to be smart because the come up ain't there. You, 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 you keep trying to get a come up instead of having a solid plan and a direct path to follow. You keep being all over, being on all kinds of different different um, paths, being in different lanes. And trust me, all these different lanes don't belong to you. They're not for you. You keep hitting a bunch of roadblocks. They ain't snags, they're roadblocks. Then you gotta turn your butt right back around and go back where you came from because you didn't read the signs on your way there down that path that you're following. You didn't read the roadblocks. And I mean, you didn't read the signs and the signs was telling you, oh, this is this is about to end. Then you was getting, you know, the you see, you know what you see when something's about to end. And I ain't talking about just the road. You know what you see when something in your life is about to come to an end because we all have a pattern that takes place in our life, a specific pattern that takes place in our life when something is about to come to a close. And it's a pattern that we created ourselves by something that we allowed to take place in our life the first few times. We allowed this pattern to create itself in our life because we allowed it to take place the first three times. 
a same pattern repeated itself and because we don't change it didn't change it when there is an issue in your life it occurs in a specific pattern every time it is up to you to recognize that beast within your life which is your pattern of mess up that you cause by allowing people to get away with certain things people to do certain things to you and you not speak up not loud ignorant and belligerent but always when there's an injustice done to you speak and I don't mean I said an injustice I didn't say something small uh uh when I say injustice I mean something that attacks your physical your emotional and your mental if your freedom is involved right that's when you, your freedom and your safety are involved you speak up you speak up right your mischief is getting you stonewalled this has been a beautiful part too and it's getting long so what I'm going to do is end this because right I guess when I pull out something it turns into a whole oration it just keeps on going and going and going right so it's time to end this <laughs> and I'm going to have me a little smoke break and probably do some more reads probably do some shorter ones I don't know I never call it because guess what I'm a diviner. If I call it, then... I mean, I can't call timing. I can't keep with timing. But at the end of the day, when there's a message that needs to come out, there is no time. You can't put no time limit on it. I tried. And it works really well. Then I'm speed reading. But, you know, orations do what they do. True words do what they do. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this and take me a smoke break. Have a smoke sesh. Yeah. All right. I'll come back with something, possibly.